A number of advances in oceanography were made during the late 18th and 19th centuries, largely due to the outstanding scientists who lived during this period. During this time period, Sverdrup played an important role in this scientific community. Arald Ulrich Sverdrup was born in Sandal, Norway, on November 15, 1888. His father and grandfather were prominent academics, and he grew up in a family of scholars. After being educated at home until the age of 14, he was sent to school in Stavanger in Norway. His interest in science began at an early age. As soon as he graduated from high school, he entered the university. In 1906 he passed the elementary examinations at the University of Norway, then entered the military academy there, graduating as a reserve officer in 1908. He pursued his education, earning his PhD in physics in 1913 at the University of Oslo. During that period, he was appointed as an assistant to Professor V. Birkins to work on oceanography and meteorology applications of hydrodynamics. Upon completing his education, Sverdrup began working as a meteorologist at the Norwegian Meteorological Institute. He was later appointed as the director of the institute, a position he held until 1936. His contributions to meteorology during this period included developing new forecasting methods and improving the accuracy of weather forecasts. In private life, Harold Sverdrup married Gerd Lillian Ultang in 1935. She was a Norwegian botanist and they had three children. Gerd Sverdrup also contributed to the scientific community, studying plant ecology and the effects of pollution on the environment. Having served in the fields of oceanography and meteorology, he finally retired. In 1957, he died at the age of 69 in Oslo, Norway. Harold Sverdrup received numerous awards and honors for his contributions to the field of oceanography and meteorology. He was elected a member of the National Academy of Sciences in the United States, as well as a fellow of the American Meteorological Society and the American Geophysical Union. From 1917 to 1925, Sverdrup was responsible for the scientific work on the Maud expedition to the Arctic. From 1928 to 1939, he was a research associate at the Carnegie Institution, Washington, D.C. He taught oceanography at the University of California and directed the Scripps Institution of Oceanography in La Jolla, California, from 1936 to 1948, when he became director of the North Polar Institute in Oslo. As an oceanographer, Harold Sverdrup is best known for his research on ocean circulation. He developed a new theory of ocean circulation, known as the Sverdrup balance, which is still widely used today. This relationship between the vertically integrated meridional, north-south transport of ocean water and the wind stress exerted on the open ocean surface is known as the Sverdrup balance or Sverdrup relation. He contributed to the development of the method of predicting surf and breakers by explaining the equatorial counter-currents. He played a crucial role in the development of weather forecasting and climate modeling through his research on the circulation of the North Atlantic. He was also an accomplished educator and trained many of the leading oceanographers of his time. Today, his textbooks on oceanography, such as The Oceans, Their Physics, Chemistry, and General Biology, remain influential. The oceanographic community named after him a unit of water flow in the oceans. One Sverdrup is equal to 1 million cubic meters per second. This unit is typically used in large volume transport and is widely used in oceanography. Consequently, Harold Sverdrup's legacy in the field of oceanography is significant. His work on ocean circulation and its relationship to the atmosphere laid the foundation for much of our current understanding of climate change. He has had a lasting impact on the scientific community, and he continues to be remembered as one of the most important figures in the history of oceanography.